good morning welcome back to another vlog a new week it is tuesday i am not starting my week out um feeling poorly like i did last week you're not going outside i'm about to leave and you're just gonna go bark <laughs> Uh, the people next door are getting like their fence painted and the people showed up really early this morning and he just wants to bark at them because he can hear them. No, sorry. So we filmed a, we filmed a weekend vlog this week. Axel. Okay, let's go to school. All right, that's better. Of course my camera is like somewhat dead. I can't win today apparently so I just got into my classroom and I have parent conferences this morning so I had to get here kind of early it is only 7 30 and I already made some copies I still have to make some more copies because they were stuff that it was stuff that was in my room um but yeah so I was trying to say we filmed this weekend um but that vlog won't go up until probably later this week because it has to get approved by um oh my hair is so staticky oh my gosh um it has to get approved by a company first because we partnered up with somebody in that vlog so that can't go up yet um i have keep meaning to mention and i keep forgetting but we have officially like switched over our shop to which i kind of have mentioned but um i haven't like fully fully like said it i guess but we have switched over our t-shirts to teespring i'm still in the process of switching them over because it takes so much time to put a design on there it's ridiculous but the shirts are going to be like literally like right here um you can click on our shop from like right underneath this video which is super super cool um and you can purchase shirts from there so i know some of you a lot of you guys that watch are not actually actually teachers so i'm gonna make sure to add the designs that i have that are not like teaching related i'm gonna have like a separate version or a separate um little like section on there for non-teacher tees um so that you guys can um purchase those as well so i know i've had a lot of people just like asking about t-shirts and stuff so yeah that'll be where they're at um and thank you guys so much for like everyone who has supported our t-shirt shop and just it's been crazy so super excited for that um exciting announcement coming i believe tomorrow tomorrow hopefully fingers crossed um so yeah that's pretty much it we had a not super busy weekend it was pretty chill to be honest um i did get this journal yesterday which i showed you guys in my weekend vlog but in case you never see that um it's just like one of the notebooks that uh, the happy planner came out with i found it on clearance at uh joann's this weekend for like seven dollars and plus i had a teacher discount so i bought this um to keep like just notes in because i have like my little journal that i keep over at my guided reading table i just document each day like what i do with my groups just so i can keep track um but yeah so anyway i have a lot of stuff going on today so i'm gonna get to work Good morning, happy Wednesday. It's already Wednesday, which is crazy. Um, not having school on Monday is such like a magical thing. Um, so yeah, I just got finished making um, like sour cream dip because we like the week before um, Thanksgiving, we always do like staff uh, like treats in the lounge. And so one or not one, but like two or three are you kidding? I just let you in. Two or three grades are in charge of bringing like a snack each day of the week. What do you want? No, you've got food and water, boo boo. Um, so yesterday when we had it, um, everyone brought like a lot of times people would bring like sweets because like cookies are just easy to bring. But we ended up with like so many cookies left over. This is really high, but we ended up with so many cookies left over, and I I don't I'm not a big sweets person. I'd rather have stop. <laughs> I'd rather have like a salty snack so 
I got chips and dip just because I feel like that's something that people would like. So that's what I bought. Um, I also realized yesterday or like last night that we um, we were in like our spare room, which is where I kind of like throw everything that I just don't want to deal with in that moment. Um, but I realized I never opened up my really good stuff box from this uh, month. Uh, is it the November box? I think it was the November box, yeah. So I figure I'll open that up really quick before I leave for school today. So this is a subscription box from uh, Really Good Stuff and it is $39.99 I believe each month. A lot of times if you go to their Instagram you can find um, like specials and deals though and coupon codes. Please hold. So I figure let's open this up today. Let's see. Let me get a knife. when you first open it um it has this little like oh, i cannot grab that um it has this like little pamphlet thing that just talks about the um box and everything like that so and in each box you get something for you something for your students and something for your classroom um so it looks like this month it must be um like coffee themed so i also love that the wrapping is always something that you can actually use in your classroom so the first thing I see is, um, oh, this is like a, a, what do you call it, a photo thing. They always have these in there. Um, and then on the back, it tells you like what's in there, which I will save. Um, oh, what happened here? Looks like something you're supposed to punch out. Okay. Um, it looks like these are, oh, these are bookmarks. You know what I really love is that this is like winter themed and not Christmas themed. Um, we like don't. Like, a lot of kids don't celebrate Christmas, and so I like that I can do something that's, like, wintry themed, um, and it doesn't have to just be Christmas, so that's actually really, really nice. I like that. And the kids know how much I love coffee, so that'll be really cute. This would be so cute to do, like, a hot chocolate reading day. Ooh, actually, that may have inspired me. Um, and then they could get a certificate for reading a latte books that day. How cute would that be? Ooh, that might be... That might be happening. Um, and then I don't know what in the world happened to this. It, like, it's supposed to be punched out, but it looks like it just already got punched out, which is not a big deal. Um, let's see here. Okay. It says, um, I read a lot of books. Oh, is it like a punch card? Oh, that could be kind of cool. Like a winter reading challenge or something. That could be cool. I'm sure there's like a direction on directions on what you're supposed to do with it. Oh, let's get all these out of here. And then, oh, what? Coffee mug? Caffeine, teach, repeat. Oh, that's really cute. Ooh, I kind of want to use this today. Hmm. Maybe not today. I need to wash that. And then... The last thing I see, or the last couple of things, um, I warmed up to these good books. Oh, and then they put like the title and the author of what the book was, and these are all printed, so you wouldn't have to do anything. Um, write the name on the mug handle, write in book titles and authors, and the, yeah. Oh, you're supposed to glue the marshmallows on. Oh, that's cute. Um, this looks like a poster. That would be cute to hang up on your reading day. And then this just says our class read a latte books and you would put down like the book titles on there. So, super cute box. Like I said, I'm really ex um, like happy it's not Christmas themed. I'm glad it's like winter themed and something different than just like snowflakes because that can get kind of old kind of quickly. So, um, my nose is stuffy. Um, so that's kind of cool. Anyway, I'm going to go to school and get to work. I have a um, conference this morning and then I have a bunch after school today and then I'm kind of on like the home stretch of um, conferences, which is good. And I have, I have kind of a lot to do today, so I'm gonna head to school. Hello, what a day. It is five o'clock and I'm sitting here trying to get work done. I just got my, um, like goal sheet for my students for the rest of the school year done so basically what we did was i think i could actually like show it to you let me see let me get it out of the printer i'll set off any shoes on right now and it feels so good to take my shoes off um 
yeah so basically what we had done at the beginning of the year was we took our like trimester one uh uh, standards and then we put them on a goal sheet that looks very similar to this it's like exactly the same um, but it just like didn't work out as well as we had wanted because we didn't quite get to every standard like we had expected um, just for the sake of like you know if kids didn't get it then we didn't move on kind of thing so um, we decided to change it and then we also were going off of like what we had planned as our um, high priority standards and then our district like came out with high priority standards and um they didn't match like completely and so we needed to make ours match um the district ones so basically what i did was i just took the ones for the whole year for um our district and then i threw them on a sheet and we'll just go from there so rather than having it like by trimester it just didn't really make sense because then we're changing it out so much and yeah so it just didn't make sense so we changed it so I was hoping to get this in their binders like last week, but it just didn't happen with parent conferences and stuff. So this is what I made. Um, like I said, I just took the standards that our district um, has come together to decide as like our high priority. So these are our math ones. And um, so what the kids would do, I've already like explained this before with our other one, because like I said, the page looked almost exactly the same. Um, my goal with it is that the kids would be able to document when they have like assessed um on that skill and like whether or not they passed it so if they pass it they get to color it in but then like i wanted to document it's just so much to like keep track of um because they're getting like assessed all the time and then we assess them like in our own classroom then we also assess them like and sometimes in win groups and like we'll use the same data because like i'm not going to reassess my kids if they just took that test in their win group so it just gets confusing so they end up just like, coloring in like if they master the skill now the only issue i'm having is like i just have the standards oh shoot oh no i split that one i was like no i did the same thing twice um i split this one to addition subtraction that was actually the only one i uh, switched or i separated anyway um my only issue is like the standard is so big like some of them can be so big and they might be mastering like pieces of it but they're not mastering like the entire thing so that's where I like don't really know like our other one was a lot better like more user-friendly in that way because we separated it more by like skill versus standard like the standard I didn't even have on there last time but I felt like for me this would help me keep on track if I just had the number like the kids don't care about that and the parents don't care about that but for me it just kind of helps me to stay on track better so I don't know and then for the ELA version same concept it's just all the different standards um and then down here at the bottom the only difference is i added their reading so they would um document their reading uh, level their dra so this is the beginning of the year this is like tr trimester one trimester two trimester three um, and then i just put middle of the year goals and end of the year goals because that's all we need for right now if we end up using this sheet again next year i will have to figure out a way to i don't know like fit in the beginning of the year goals or something i don't know um, just so that they can see like where because this is like bases a lot of our report card grade um, that and like their benchmarks so I don't know that's what I came up with um, so far we'll see if that if like my team likes that and if they want to use that because um, we all like will use the same thing so I just need to get that approved from them so I'm tired it's so exhausting talking to parents all my parent conferences has all my parent conferences have honestly gone so good though like i i don't know they've just like i feel like my conferences have never just gone like this smoothly like every parent has showed up every parent has just been like so just like amazing when they've come in like a lot of the parents i haven't actually met yet actually i shouldn't say a lot of them um a handful of them i haven't met yet and some of them i met like on the first day of school but like it was just so cry crazy and hectic that day that i don't like remember everyone so it's just been nice to like sit down and get to know people and um i don't know it's just been like really nice so that's been our day um we actually did a oh i wasn't gonna take that down because i was gonna show you guys that's why i left it up i'm so dumb ah, so we're working on mapping and so one of our activities in our stem scopes was to map the classroom which you don't actually map the classroom <laughs> don't know why they call it that but you're basically supposed to like create little um sceneries in the classroom using paper hence why my 
trash can is like full of butcher paper right now but i created like a little scenery and i can actually like show you guys a picture on my phone because i took a picture of it um and then they basically just walked around it and like looked at it and then mapped the um thing that i made so i just had it like it had um i don't know like a river and it had like a, a lake and then it had um like a plain i just tried to um you can actually like see that so you can oh, i knew that was gonna switch um you can kind of like see that <laughs> Um, but it had like the river the blue and then I made like a desert with the yellow and then some mountains We learned that mountains have peaks and hills have rounded tops So I made some like peaks with um, just paper a little river going through So it was like a canyon between the, the things and then those other brown ones are it's supposed to be hills because I just made them more like rounded and everything was just paper and then they drew out on their own paper like what that would look like on a map So yeah, it was pretty fun. They enjoyed it. Um, we did it at the end of the day So we didn't have like a lot of time, but it was probably like just enough time i think any more than that it was like one of those things where some kids got done really really fast and then some kids like took their time and like really went with it um so i think the time frame was probably just perfect um and then the last thing we did we also read um part of our like uh like text that goes with the science stuff and so i had them sort of do a jigsaw kind of um where i had like each row in on the carpet read a certain paragraph so it was about like oceans lakes rivers and then like streams or maybe there was only three i don't know um but then each row was like in charge of a certain uh paragraph and then they were supposed to stand up and share with their um with a class what they learned about so they're not reading like the entire page they're only reading their one portion becoming an expert at their portion and then sharing with the rest of the class their knowledge so it kind of worked um i probably should have given like instructions a little bit better but it was just kind of on the fly i was like oh let's just do it this way because it was just getting like very like blah because there was so much reading so i just figured like we could break apart and kind of do it that way so and they have their study buddy next to them to help and support them. So, anyway, I'm going to go. I will see you guys tomorrow. Um, I would show you my outfit. I guess I can, but it's, like, nothing exciting. I have on this sweatshirt, which just has, like, studs all over it. It's super old. It's from Forever 21, like, years ago. Um, and, yeah, I just wore that today. I don't know why, because it was comfy. And then I have on these jeans that are, like, the ones, are they're not like, they are the ones from Walmart. I don't have any shoes on right now because my shoes are right there. They're just, like, the pointy toe flats that I bought at Walmart recently. Um, but they kind of hurt my feet after a while. They're, like, comfortable, but my feet are pretty wide, and so they kind of start hurting. So I'm going to go to the gym, catch up with you guys tomorrow. Tomorrow's already Thursday, which is super exciting. And, oh, and the last thing I am doing, which is the reason I even got on here, I'm currently <laughs> filling out the um, cards that I got in my Really Good Stuff box last month. Really Good Stuff box last month. Um, I'm filling these out right now with their name and my name, and then I'm going to take them home and sit on the couch tonight and fill them out because I need these, like, pronto. <laughs> we only have two days left until Thanksgiving. So it just says, I'm grateful and thankful for you, and then I'm just going to write them a little letter. I do this every year. It's just that this year they gave them to me in that box, which worked out great. Normally I find some off the internet and I just print them um, and that always works out great too but this works out even greater because I already have them. And then I'm going to give them a pencil with it which I got in my really good stuff box as well and I'm going to give them a little sticker and I think based off of what I was thinking about this morning I'm going to do that for Christmas like the reading um, camp out with like maybe hot chocolate or something but um I think on Friday I'm going to do like a friendship book party. Like we're going to read, and but do it in a fun way. I don't know. <laughs> so that's my plans. I'll catch up with you guys tomorrow. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button. It would really mean a lot to me um, to have you join our family. And that's it. So I'll see you guys in the morning.